James Gallo with Warriors head coach Mike Stuthers for Yara sitting with Stutz. And Mike, uh, your team just wrapping up a five-game homestand where you were 3-1-1. One, and one. Uh, Overall, we saw some highs and we saw some lows. I guess let's talk about the positives from your club over the last five games here at Mosaic Place. Well, I think, uh, I think we got some good points, uh, some hard-earned points. Uh, we let a couple slip away. Um, you know, we uh, had a lead late in the game and lost in a shootout. Uh, we had a game that we weren't even really involved in, so um, the highs, a 9 nothing <laughs> win followed up by uh, a 5 nothing loss, back-to-back uh, -back nights. But, uh, you know, that's junior hockey and uh, to be expected early on in the season, especially with a young team. Uh, I think, James, uh, it's a real learning process for us right now. And, uh, you know what, we, uh, we try to build on the many positives that we've had thus far in the, in the early part of the season. Uh, we see some great progress from our younger players, and uh, some of our older guys are now rounding into shape. Uh, the return of Everly certainly helped, and I think the addition of Messi is going to really help us in our overage position too. So um, I think the uh, you know the, the little home stand we had was uh, was pretty successful. Now you end on a high with a 5-2 win over the Everett Silver Tips on Tuesday. Uh, talk a little bit about Torn White. Two goals, four points. We've talked a lot about him with the little things like blocking shots, but finally nice to see Torn get rewarded with some points. Well, you know what? I think Torn's uh, had a little bit of a slow start. Uh, you know, he was uh, our, our real dark horse uh, prediction for our playoffs last year when uh, we as a coaching staff were together and, and thinking who was going to elevate their game, who was going to step up for us. And unfortunately, Torin got hurt and, uh, and couldn't play uh, in the Medicine Hat series and beyond. And uh, you know what, I think he was slow starting. I think he was slow getting out of the gate. Uh, you know, he was doing a great job for us defensively. He's so smart, he's so aware, and he's uh, fearless, courageous. He'll block shots for us. Um, but what we asked him um, to, uh, to step up his game, uh, be more productive, uh, go to the net more, shoot more. Uh, if he's not scoring, maybe somebody else will. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that worked out. He, you know, you can go one of two ways. You can sulk or you can mope. And uh, he chose to, you know, take it as a challenge and uh, met it head on and had himself a terrific night last night. Yara sitting with Stutz, James Gallo, Mike Stuthers, Warriors head coach. Uh, now this team getting ready for a two-game road trip in Alberta, Friday night against the Edmonton Oil Kings, Saturday night against the Lethbridge Hurricanes. It's the first overnight trip for the Warriors. Those are ones that the players always look forward to and a good opportunity for this young team to bond just a little bit more. Well, I think it's going to be good for us, James, to get away for a couple. And uh, there's no better place to go than into Edmonton, uh, certainly after the... Uh, you know the playoff run we had against them last year, and and they are one of the elite teams in our league again this year, and and I think that uh, um, it'll be a good test for us. Uh, I know I'm looking forward to it. I don't uh, I don't anticipate this to be an easy road trip by any stretch of imagination. I think uh, Lethbridge is much improved over last year. Uh, they're a lot bigger. I think they're uh, a more physical team, um, and they've got some great goaltending with Rimmer. So uh, I think it's going to be a good test for us, and. Uh, you know what, uh, I think uh, starting out on Friday night in Edmonton uh, and, a, and a great surface for, for skating. The ice is always good, James, so it'll be, it'll be good to see where we are right now and then uh, hopefully we can s steal two out of there and, and roll into Lethbridge. <laughs> kind of like last year, seeing how your team, they play so well here at home, see how they respond on the road coming off that high against Tuesday against the, the uh, Everett Silver Tips. Well, the road hasn't been kind to us thus far. Um, you know, I mean, that's something that we've addressed and we need to improve upon. Uh, you know, we want to be a team that's a threat both at home and on the road. Uh, if you're going to be a team that's, uh, you know, X amount of games over 500, you've got to win yeah. some games on the road. So, uh, again, I think it'll be good. It'll be the first time the guys have, as you say, had an overnighter, uh, you know, hotel stays, rooming together, team meals, and, and I think it'll be good for us in that regard. And, uh, you know, Although it'd be nice to play every game at home here at the <laughs> Mosaic, uh, you know, you can't do yeah. so. And uh, it's nice to get one of the longer ones to Edmonton out of the way before the snow flies. And uh, like I said, uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, good luck this weekend. Thanks, James. Warriors head coach Mike Stuthers will have more to come as Mosaic Warriors TV continues. I'm James Gallo.